guys, my name is Naomi Alain. I'm from Launch Pad Arts TV. I'm going to be introducing a fresh young London talent by the name of Marco. He's currently under Launch Pad Arts management. He's a singer, songwriter, and producer, and he's set for big things. Come join me. Hi, oh, you all right? How are you? Okay. Come in, come in. Lovely to see you. Yeah, you too, how are you doing? I'm very good. Hi Marco, lovely to meet you. Hi. Thanks for having us here. No worries. No problem. Let's get straight to it. Mm -hmm. First question. Who is Marco? Tell us a bit about yourself and your background. Uh, Marco, um, who is Marco? I was born in Northampton, um, grew up in Cyprus. Um, I was always influenced by music from a young age. Um, and then when I got to about the age of 14, 15, I started taking it more seriously. So mm. I started doing my own beats, started writing my own tunes. And now, about a year and a half ago, I moved over to England and I'm taking it to the next level. Okay, so how different is it from living in London to Cyprus? Uh, difference is Cyprus is like a it's a it's an island, it's a tourist destination. So yeah, everyone in Cyprus is just so laid back. Um, you can do whatever you want. You can just go out, you can go clubbing, go to bars. Just it's, it's an easy lifestyle. It's free. Mm. As London, it's just. What's that work, work, work? Everyone's going 100 miles an hour. Yeah, definitely. And exactly. I feel it's better to live that way because then you wake up and you see what life's all about. You have to work for what you want to, what you want to achieve. You know what I mean? Um. So, could you give us a few words in your native tongue? Well, if I was to approach a girl, I'd say to her, I'd say, "Say What? Say that again. I'd say, "Say well, what? That means you're beautiful. I'd say that. Well, thank you. <laughs> I'd say, I'd say, that means like, that means you're very beautiful. Can I have your number? Wow, girls. <laughs> and that's Greek, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, no, that's, yeah, well, it's, it's Greek, but it's in the Cypriot dialect, which is a little bit more slang. It's not Greek. A little bit more sexy, isn't it? <laughs> no, no, no. I'd say, the, I'd say the Greeks from Greece are more sexy. It's like, in Greece, it's more posh. It's like, Whereas in Cyprus, wow. it's like, yeah, 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 yeah. it's like that. How did you like? How did you get into music? Well, if you downloaded my new mixtape Better Day, then you would have heard in my tune that I started, I started singing like one years old. Started singing Michael Jackson tunes, nice. and um, yeah, from from a young age, I always knew I could, I could hold a note. I knew, I always knew I could, I could sing in tune. So. By the age of like 14, 15, I had to make a choice. It was either football or music. And at that time, I, like my passion for music was stronger. So, I mean, I got my first music program, Cubase. Started making my own beats, started making my own music, started writing my own tunes. And then since then, it's just been getting better and better. Mm. Yep. So, um. Could you name us three musical influences and why? Like why they influenced you? Influences. First, I'd probably say Michael Jackson because I don't think I need to to, <laughs> to explain anything about that. Yeah. I mean, everyone knows what a legend he is. Yeah. When I got to about the age of nine, ten years old, I was always I was always listening to Craig David, and I feel like I've adapted to his style a little bit. Like if you if you hear Craig David and then you hear me sing, you can tell there's like there's been a bit of um, influence there, you know what I mean? Good. Um, Very interesting one. I love Stevie Wonder as well. What a legend. Genius. To be blind and to be able to play the keys and sing how, how, how he can, it's just, it makes you feel that you can do anything. Definitely you know what I mean? amazing, yeah. Mm -hmm. So could you give us um, a song that most represents you um, right now? It doesn't have to be current, it could be any time frame. I'd say probably one or two packs of tunes, only God can judge really? me. Because if you, you know what I mean, if you read the title, you can see that no one can tell you what to do. Only God can judge you. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, when you, when, you, when you live your life, you've got to live it as you want to live it. You can't let anyone tell you what to do. I hear that. You've got to be happy, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So, 
Yeah, I'd say that too. Okay. Hey, um, apart from having fantastic vocals. Thank you. Um, do you play any other instruments? You did mention the piano earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been playing piano for for how long now? Seven, twelve years. Twelve so, years. Wow. I I used to go I used to go piano lessons till about the age of sixteen, seventeen, and then I stopped. And now I just do my own thing. I always play my own tunes, make my own melodies. Love it. Um, yep. Okay. Um. So being a brand new artist. What level of success do you wish to achieve? I've always said that a singer, like just a singer, is never good enough because you always limit your capabilities when you're yeah. just one thing. Like I would, I would love to, I would love to have my own clothing label one day. I'd love to play in a film. I'd love to go into the entertainment industry. You know what I mean? The yeah. list goes on. Like if you look at people like Pharrell. They're everything. Good example. They're producers, they're songwriters, they're singers, they're rappers, they're, he's got his own clothing label. You know what I mean? He's a businessman. Yeah. He's not just an artist. He's like and a brand, isn't he? He's it? like a brand and yeah. yeah, that's what I aspire to be one day. Cool stuff, my mm -hmm. So we heard that you had a massive live stream and internet concert earlier this summer. Yep. Um, it achieved over 7,500 subscribers worldwide. Uh -huh. Wow. That's <laughs> How did that feel, Marco? Yeah, it was amazing. I mean, just to be able to perform my music and have people around the world appreciating my music is a blessing. You know what Definitely. I mean? And hopefully in the future, my next gigs will hopefully attract more people. You know what I mean? Yes. Uh-huh. Sure. Right. Also, you have a, a album um, set to be released next year. Mm -hmm. Could you tell me a bit, a little bit more about that? And um, is there an album title? Is it there's, top secret? There's, there's, a, there's, a, there's a couple of contenders. There's a, there's a few little names that we've come up with here and there, but we, we haven't hit it on the nail yet. But we're getting there. We're definitely getting there. And you guys are going to be the first people to know, so don't worry. And um, yeah, I mean, I've got an album launch party in about Easter time, so hopefully. You know what I mean? Everything goes well until then. Yeah, so um, Easter is going to be like March, isn't it? Yeah, 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 East, yeah like March We're going to be doing it big. February, March, hopefully. Wicked stuff, and wicked. Yeah, 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 I'm excited, man. Yeah. So what kind of sound are we expecting from this album? Um, doing it. I tend to see myself as a as an artist with a lot of variety, so I can sing I can sing anything. I listen to, I listen to all types of music, so I sing all types of music as well. Yeah. But on this album, we've got a few genres. We've got pop, we've got R&B, rap, reggae, trap, wow. any, you name it, you know what I mean? Um, but that's how I feel every artist should be. They should never like limit themselves as an artist. No, I, I, I don't want to say I'm an R&B artist. I don't want to say I'm a rap artist. I want to say, I want to say I'm just an artist. I can, You're an you know entertainer, what I mean? yeah. I'm an entertainer. I can sing all types of music. I enjoy all types of music, okay. so. You know what I mean? Why not? Why not perform all types of music? Definitely agree you know with that. I, mean? I really like that answer. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. So where are you going to be performing next? When's your next gig? Uh, a week and a half at this bar restaurant called um, XOXO. I've heard of that. And it's an event called Sunday Lounge, Sunday Soul Lounge. Yeah. And yeah, I'm going to be performing acoustically, which is a first for me as well. Should be interesting. So I'm excited for that. <laughs> um, a week later, on the 3rd of November, I'm performing at the 15 Minute Club in Holborn. Oh, I've so, that as well. Wicked. Yeah, it's nice in there. So yeah, I'm, I'm excited. If you follow me on my, on my Facebook, I've, I've got all my dates and my calendar there. So get following. Wicked stuff. Yeah. So today's the oldest you'll ever be and the youngest you'll ever be again. So what does Marco have for um, in plan for the near future? What's your, you know, your plans and your... Um, well, as I said, I've got my album launch coming out. That's going to be a big thing for my career. Mm. Uh, my first album. Yeah, I mean, it's amazing how far you, like, when you look back, how far you've come, like... Yeah. You know what I mean? I've got, like, 16, 17 tracks ready to go now. Like it's it's crazy, and yeah, in the future you're just gonna see me. I mean, I'm always writing, I'm always producing new stuff. I got a few music videos, few singles to be released as well. Um, gonna have a few 
a few music videos out there as well. Yes. So that's going to be crazy. I'm excited for that. So yeah, I'm just forever working, forever producing, forever writing, forever singing. So yeah, you're gonna be, you, you guys are gonna be seeing a lot of that. So it's good stuff. Mm -hmm. Good stuff. Okay, so we've all, you've been busy doing all of this, like you know, music. Yeah, yeah. Focus. Mm -hmm. What do you enjoy doing in your spare time? What do you do? Um, I love football. Every Saturday I play football. I mean. I, I used to play from a young age, from like seven years old till 17, until I got wow. to like semi-professional. Yeah. And as I, as I stated before, um, it was a choice between music or football. And <laughs> I, cho I chose music, but that, that didn't mean that I don't love football, you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, I've been a Spurs fan since I was born Spurs, as well. Spurs, guys, he supports Spurs. You <laughs> are me. <laughs> and um, yeah, I mean, like, like summertime, I was just bored. I was like, you know what? I need to get back into football. And I joined my cousin's team, up the Tigers, Oak Hill FC, you know it. <laughs> and yeah, I've been playing every Saturday and it's, it's amazing. It's such a relief off my, off my shoulders that I can do what I like. I can be doing what I love in terms of music and doing what I love in terms of football as well. I agree with that completely. Mm -hmm. You travel anywhere? Any travel in? Uh, yeah, I went Italy in the summer. Beautiful holiday, beautiful place. And yeah, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna travel this year as well. Hopefully, we're looking. At, me and my mates are looking at a few little destinations to go on. So yeah, mm -hmm. and promoting your album again. Yeah, yeah, of course. Good stuff. Um, and the last question now for the ladies who wants to know if you're single or taken. <laughs> so what's your status? Yeah, I've seen I'm single. Unfortunately, <laughs> but that's only because I've been busy. You know what yeah. I mean? I've been working on my music. I ain't really had time to go and, and mingle, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, yeah, once my album's out, I'm coming for you, ladies. So. <laughs> you heard it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, thank you so much for having us here, Marco. No it's been a been pleasure up. speaking to you. Could you let everyone know how mm -hmm. they can keep in contact with you and your happenings and, you know, keep updated? Mm -hmm. I'm on all, all the social networking sites. I'm on Twitter. Um, you can find me at DA Official Marco. Um, on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, the same name, DA Official Marco, and on YouTube, I am Official Marco. So, Do you guys yeah. get that DA Official Marco? DA Official Marco. I tried. Every, I tried every single name: Marco Official, <laughs> Marco, the, uh, Marco the Don. <laughs> I tried everything, and I swear to you, there's no names out there. Everyone's everything's so been one, taken. That name's sticking. So I had to stick with Da Official Marco. So DA. Mm -hmm. Thanks guys for joining me, it's been a pleasure speaking to Marco, uh, stay tuned uh, every month, Launchpad Arts TV, my name's Naomi, see you soon. <laughs> <laughs>